Actually, Cole got hit by it a little bit, but still had enough vision to win the exchange. And the round, I would say, is going to follow in similar fashion as SK have full control. Or do they? Go. Or do they? Oh my goodness, automatic. 4 HP. Finds two kills. It's all for naught, perhaps, or is it? Because Skadoodle's actually gone on undetected. They put so much effort oh! into finding the Deagle. Oh my god, automatic. Another, and they win the round off that. You have to be kidding me. That is the most insane round a Deagle has had yet in this tournament. Yet. Cold, wide swings. He's got all the utility in the world, but what he lacks is teammates, although it's Nico that he has still by his side. And now Twist revealing himself, still eight seconds, bombs on site, bombs now planted, and it's 2v2, 2v1! FaZe ready to win this! Plopsky's coming up from Catwalk, he sees the first, but now he sees nothing, and it's just defeat! FaZe 16-12! The only... now has a Krieg to fight this one off, and Kenny, he's not going down without a fight. Interesting maneuver at championship point, I have to say, but still, they're making it work. <laughs> two versus two, and it's going to be Simple and Flamey, <gasps> who just seem to be taking matters into their own hands. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. there it is. Your champions are going to be Na'Vi. It's a 3 zero. A bit more utility where that came from. Valdez flashed in again. They weren't ready for it the second time around. And Valdez, three kills, or two kills rather. One for Alexa B earlier on. Now, these flashes so punishing. And Cole are once again left down to the dregs. The last few players trying to make a difference is Danes seeping in towards this B bomb site, but the rotations are already in for OG. Complexity, they've got to fight tooth and nail to get control of B to even have a chance in a round like this. They haven't cleared out Alexa B. They still haven't found him. And Blame is now suspicious. And they are dealing with the man at the back of the site Whoa. and configures him with another. This here, this was not a round that Cole were cut out to win. And yet somehow they've, they've blazed this trail. They've got it down to a 2v1. Issa left up in the retake, but he can't spot Blame. And somehow, someway, those two for complex in the middle. And oh no, someone's dead here, surely. Yeah, Keto, config, looking for a little bit more, tucked in, and Trader, taking a second, traded eventually. Bomb now, secured, back for more. Tizian with a B pick through the oh. smoke, and now they can find a chance. This bomb can get through the window, it can. See some blinded Ow. blame F. Otherwise, he would have had that round in the palm of his hand, and the missed no scope might be the end of the series. No, this can't be how it falls apart. This is like complexity had this round locked in. Oh no, it's gone so wrong. Just rush left. Major winner, by the way, out through the double door, smoke in the tunnel, rush, tasked with the impossible, the safest pair of hands NA has to offer, but he no. can't get it over the line, and big, KS. they do it too. He's now been found, but he does connect to the head of Tarek, and he saw that little peek from Stan. Oh, a second from JKS. He wasn't able to get it last oh, time, but JKS and Blame F from a 2v5 to the 2v1. And now it's Ethan who's going to have to close, or it's 11-4. JKS, he does it. Not able two to kills. And now he gets up onto the bicycle, trying to hold back Simple. Simple hunting device. A two versus five here for Navi does not bode well. But it's not over. Dupree still shoulder peeking. Simple, he gets the headshot. Electronics found himself one as well. Device, oh, he's low. And Electronic, he knows that there's a player inside of this site. 2v2, and Simple, he takes it into their hands. Let's see it, Magisk. He finds Electronic out into the open, runs down on Simple. He's trying to hide. 5 HP for Simple, and he gets no. back behind the pillar to pop the face of Magisk. To kind of run through it. Seven seconds left now. Jamie gets the first, but it's still a two on four situation. No nades left. So Jamie's just a force to keep on repeating here. Fnatic are playing like at this point, like Yakino shouldn't tap push for sure. Like they know that VP, they're four, two on four. They need picks. Like Fnatic, all they need to go is to go together. Don't let the upper like multi kill you. Try to push him together. Um, but now they've lost two people in a way unnecessary picks. Spot anything from the double boost either two on two now and Jamie gets the gets the fourth on JW. Only really Bronner left now here now though. Fake diffuse, start to spray, no time left now, and it's a round for VP. Can't I can't believe that. Here we go. I said it. It is T side nuke. If they pick this one up, if they continue to roll, let's not forget. Sorry, what? Stewie and Grimm are in the server, folks. It seems Stewie's got a companion, a partner in crime for this absurd 2v5. He's picked up the gonna win this. Bomb's loose. Bottom's JT's low. not got friends. I've got a foreboding feeling. Right? Certainly. It's, it's just that little bit of worry. Grim, I don't know yet. Oh! <laughs> 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 
I don't think Floppy's going to remember any of that either. Head gets ripped off, and now JT is sweating. So is Martin. Like, this was the round. This was the chance. We had it all. We had the picks. We had the entries. And now we've got Stewie kind of guarding the bomb, looking after his buddy. Oh! oh all right, I'm leaving. I'll see you later. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Team Liquid have found themselves a gem. Unarmored opponents as well. So that Max M can do some work. Shox needs to decide where exactly he wants to play. He's going to hold on to Catwalk while Zawu gets this plant down. But he needs to make his way back. But they're already up. He's going to have a fight on his hands right now. He must win both. And he's got both. Yeah, pistols out for Saibu as you can get unarmored targets and headshots coming through. And somehow a 2 on 5 turned into a 1 on 1. Sergey oh. making the jump and Saibu taking him down. That is. Pretty much knocking on the door of victory, especially when you consider Ral's on the back line. If he can find one kill over here, that's all she wrote for the CTs. If he can forward, he'll find one. He has a chance for two oh. and he gets it done as well. And with this, there's basically no way they can face things off. Maybe Harry can pull out a miracle, but he is Harry from Norway, not Harry from England, who's also Harry Potter, but maybe he can still make some magic happen. 2v2 back in it, Harry oh, gets another, and with knife. a knife there as well, Horzak saved the day. A 2v4. The CT and device is their undoing. 35 seconds for Maus, and somehow they've got to come up with a plan. They've got to hatch a plan to drop into CT and take that bomb back. Rops opens up with one, but they're fighting a losing battle. This bomb still under the control of Astralis, and they realize that now. They don't overextend. They fall back into CT, and so that means Maus Sports. They've got no choice but to go into the belly of the beast. It's a two on two. They drop that smoke, and that's let them get the oh, bomb. Man. Do breathe. He's tried to deny it. He's up through the smoke oh, no. and Rops flicks onto him. Somehow, Mouse Sports, they've gotten back into this. They had absolutely no business winning this round. And now they sit in a 2v1. Glaive up on the catwalk. They are both very, very low. So there is a chance, but it's only a chance for Glaive. Dropping into CT, and there's the peak from Rops at long. Wow. How on oh, earth did really deal with it, it seems. The bomb is still in the hands of Fnatic, but the round doesn't seem to be. GW takes out Smuya by Connector. Got three players streaming out of Connector for big. They are committed to the speed bomb site, although Connector starting to wonder. GW looking for a 3k as well, showing the bomb on the ramp. This is crazy. Golden has made his way in. Surely this has been heard. Oh, that's Ooh. a great burst onto Nex from a 2 versus 5 to a 2 versus 2 to a 2 versus 1. This has been turned around absolutely ridiculous. The Fnatic factor at play. 45 seconds, they're looking for Tabson. He's got to be here somewhere. There he is, three for Golden, two for JW, oh my God. and Tizian. One Jordan. tap can make all the difference. And Kenny's going for the... Oh, the timing, Kenny, why would you do that? He's throwing it back, and he pays for it too, Nico. Not giving him the chance, he gets a second headshot. Lucky falls, I'm very impressed with Nico right now. That was pure luck on his chance for Kenny fumbling that. But now it's down to a 2v2, and there are rifles in the hands now for the boys with the pistols. That was a hell of a turnaround there. Great shooting from Nico. You can tell he's been working with that deagle. No, absolutely. And as you said, the turnaround, once again, G2 just potentially grasping defeat from the jaws of victory. Oh, there we go, Rain gets one frag. Nico falls to Amanek and it leaves it in a 1v1. The two top fraggers of the server right now. Shots versus Rain, and it's Rain to come through with the headshot. 15 down at the door. They've already wrapped around behind him. They'll see the utility. So they've got the opener, and boom, it just isn't done there. Never mind the USPs, never mind the force by. They're backing up with the ball down. Robs doubles up. He has a smoke that he can hide in and disappear as well. And that makes things very awkward. The bomb seems to be the one that always gets caught for Navi. Yeah. Go back to the first round, they went lower. They oh, lost no. it at the secret entrance. Rops just Whoa! just pulls a fantastic entrance apart as Voxic nails Boomich. And Electronic makes something happen with a Deagle, but he's still left against Voxic on the op, who's dropped down. Don't think oh. Electronic's aware of it through the gap. Voxic steals the round and Rops Wait, starts it off. Behind the fountain. Oh my god, is he jumped over Chris J and taking Voxic out? That's absolutely absurd. This is not Cirque du Soleil. Rops trying to hold things down with Chris J and they're just doing that attack. From Chris J. This is absolutely ridiculous. Robs versus Shocks now. Over the smokes. He's got a nice angle. There's a spray. He's got a reposition. The burst from Robs. That is an unreal round from both teams. But the score Jokku is indeed tight. Mennään. Ellei sitten, ellei Aleksi Allu Jalli tee sankari pelauksia. Kyllä sinne muuten taitaa kuola eksemme kyllä. Yhden tapon tosta Allu itselleen käärii.
Ottaa muuten Slovinkin tuosta ja nähdään, tästä tulee näköjään jännittävää vielä. Ja seuraavakin lähtee 2V Femma Riiteikki, Allu ja Snappi! Zoren ja Jemi vielä jäljellä nyt ja sitten puolestaan Allu yksinään ottaa vielä Zoren tuosta. Nyt pitää päästä purkamaan, nyt pitää päästä purkamaan. Ei ennätä enää, ei taida ennättääkö enää Allu? Pystyykö sen oman hoitamaan?